Well, Kanye, I suppose uh, the more important question is, you know, how future cross-border relations will uh, develop from here on. So, um, and that is why we're keeping our eyes focused on who will replace Kim Young Gun, and that's um, that's something that we should not jump to conclusions, but wait out how that plays out. Definitely. Well, given the unpredictability of the North Korean regime, uh, we're not sure who's going to take the uh, empty spot of Kim Young Gun, but we are already getting a list of people who can possibly take over that spot. Uh, let's bring in those candidates uh, by order. Uh, first of all is Won dong Yan, Deputy Chief of North Korea's United Front Department. Now, Won participated in the inter-Korean high-level meeting in February last year. His whereabouts were speculated as he has been out of the public eye for quite a while, but with his name back on the list of members for the funeral committee, one has risen to be one of the strongest candidates for the position. And the next up on the list is Kim Wan Su, vice chairman of the Supreme People's Assembly, who is also being talked about as a possible replacement option. Uh, although not widely known in the South, Kim, Kim Wan Su was chair of the North Korean Committee for Implementation of the June 15th joint declaration, an important figure dealing with South Korean affairs. Now, last but not least is Choi Dong hae a senior secretary of the ruling party. Now, remember, he has been introduced in Hyunbin's report earlier. Uh, he has been sent to a rural collective camp for re-education, and many were wondering whether he has been ousted from Kim Jong-un's political circle. But with Choi listed as a member of the funeral committee and ranked sixth in the power, this is an indication that many experts say that he's not only been reinstated, but could also undertake another important role. Now, Che is a very familiar face to many South Koreans as he visited the South during the Incheon Asian Games with Kim Young Gun and Hwang Byung Seo last year. So although he's known to be more of a hardliner than Kim Young Gun, he is one of the very few uh, people that can directly talk with Kim Jong Un and fine tune the details. Now, many North Korean watchers scrutinize this uh, list of uh, funerals every time there is a funeral right. to check out who is in power and what kind of a power structural change North Korea has undergone. And it's very interesting to note that Choi Dong-hae is back on the list because just last month we didn't see him on the list. Right. Uh, well, although Choi Dong-hae was not seen on the list and many were speculating about his whereabouts, he's back on the list. So we have to de we definitely have to keep an eye on whether he is going to be back on the list of power. And so we'll have to wait and see who is going to fill in the absent seat for Kim Young-gun as well. Right. And how that will play out in this, uh, you know, icy relations between the two Koreas as it remains right now. All right, Connie Kim, thank you so much for that thorough coverage. My pleasure. All right.